you doing out there, Olivia? My name is Krem, and I'm the Director of Fitness, and I want to welcome you to today's Total Body Workout. I'm going to show you some exercises that you can do no matter where you are. So if you're in your home setting, great. If you're out at the gym, at the park, if you're traveling, no matter what, you'll be able to take this workout routine with you. And we're going to work the total body today. We're going to work the muscles in the upper part of the body, the lower part of the body, as well as the stomach area. So I really want to show you a full round routine so that way you can really maximize getting a really good full workout in a shorter amount of time, right? Because we may not all have a lot of time. So it's really important to make sure you have those options. Before we get started, if this is your first time joining me in this workout today, or if this is your first time exercising, I always recommend check with your doctor first. Make sure your physician says it's A-OK -okay for you to begin any new workout routine. Okay, so that's really important to do. And also make sure you have water with you. Got to stay hydrated. It's really important to make sure you're doing it when you're exercising. So have your water handy. Grab it if you don't already have it. And remember, this is your workout. If you need to take breaks, take breaks. If you need to grab your water, grab your water. Okay, so it's really about making sure that you get the maximum amount of, out of this workout that's important for you. And if I'm going too slow, you can go faster than me and vice versa. So remember, this is your time. So before we get going into it, it's always important to make sure we kind of get the body loose a little bit, kind of warm it up. So let's kind of start with just some stretches, sliding down the side of the body. And what I'm doing here is really kind of getting my core muscles in my lower back just a little loose, kind of prepared for what I want to do. And I want to keep my stomach muscles in nice and firm. I'm sliding side to side. This is always a time when that stretching or that warming up or even cooling down is really important. So we want to make sure you spend some time doing that. Perfect. Let's do one more. These feel so good, so why not? All right. Now, same area. Let's just twist side to side. Loosen that lower back and core area. And I'm kind of making sure my knees are moving with me. Excellent. It's always good to kind of wake it up, wake the body up, whether you are just joining me first thing in the morning or it's later on in the day, got to wake the body up. All right, let's kind of roll shoulders. Right here, just back and forth, nothing fancy. There we go, got to go the other way. Let's go here. Again, just something to loosen the body up, loosen the muscles up a little bit. Now let's do the neck, side to side. Sometimes it's an area we really don't spend enough time kind of being taken care of, so just nice and easy. Don't force the stretches up, okay, nice and easy. Now I'm gonna go from side to side. There we go, nice and loose here. Good, all right. Now, next thing I like to do, I'd love to really stretch out the back of the arms and the shoulders. Really important to do that, so I'm just gonna apply some pressure here. Nice and easy, right to my chest. I'm pulling that arm so I can kind of open up this area right there. As far as how, how long you hold your stretches for, that's up to you. If you wanna hold them for 10, 15, 20 seconds, uh, some people say, you know, sometimes we're holding them for even longer than that. So it's really whatever you need, whatever time you have. But it's important to make sure that you make the stretching a part of your routine. All right, same for the other side. There we go. All right, now I want to stretch out my thighs a little bit. Now balance is a bit tricky. It's important to make sure that you got a wall or something you can hold on to for this one. Okay, this maybe balance isn't quite where we want it to be yet. So I'm just going to grab a hold of the back of this leg. And I happen to have this nice little loop on my shoe here that comes in handy for this. So if you uh, are having some difficulty grabbing a hold of the ankle, then just start with whatever you can actually touch at this time or what you can aim for. So maybe it's the heel. If you're just holding it up here, or maybe it's the actual ankle. What the key is, is to just try to get that stretch right in front of the thigh. Turn the other way. Grabbing, again, ankle if I can. Nice and easy. And I want to keep my knee lined up with my other leg. So ideally, I don't want to be up here, and I want to be way up here, which I can be. I want to be lined up with this one right now. Feeling that stretch there. Now I'm gonna kind of open up my hips a little bit. So 
thighs are a little bit wider. And I'm just going to reach down and allow me to get my stretch right in the inner part of my thigh right here. And I'm reaching for my toe or my ankle. Remember, it's about wherever you comfortably are able to reach. Uh, where your flexibility, what your flexibility allows for right now. Nice. Come on up. Other way. Perfect. Again, now I should feel it more on the other, the opposite leg. And I'm stretching that down there. And because I'm twisting, I'm probably going to get a little bit here as well as this area too. All right, good. Let's get started. Let's get into it. No time like the present. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start out with is we're going to do an exercise that incorporates the shoulders, front of the arms, a little bit of the legs, and the calves. Okay, so we're going to do this with nothing at all. I may incorporate some uh, cans in the mix, so you can do dumbbells in the mix, but I'm going to show you how to do it with nothing first. So I want to have what's a wide squatted position. All right, not too low, so I'm not trying to actually squat. I just want to be able to have some tension and resistance on my thighs right there. My arms are going to be right in front, back is straight, stomach is tight. I'm going to come up, and then this is basically a lateral raise. I want my shoulders and my arms to be lined with my shoulders, and then I'm going to turn my palms in, and I'm going to curl, right? But then I have to involve my calves. Remember, I said calves are coming in here too. So I'm going to come up. Raise, turn, down. Yes, there's a couple different things going on with this one. So, in that squatted position, I'm up, curl, down. There you go. So, I'm here, I'm up, raise, curl. Perfect. I'm up, and curl. Now, I recommend if you've not done this move before, you want to go light with your resistance if you are using dumbbells because you want to hold this position pretty steady. You don't want your arms to start drooping, okay? And if you're using heavy weights, it'll definitely do that. So here we go. Let's take it. Let's go. Got my squat position. I'm up. Curl. Up. Curl. Nice. Up. Curl. Make sure you're breathing. Lift on the calves. Curl. Don't hold your breath. Very important to not do that. You got it. And up. Up on those toes. That's what I'm doing. So when I say up, my toes are going up, my arms are going up, I'm curling. So there's a couple of things that are happening when I go up. Yes. Let's do five. Legs may start to shake. Normal. Four. Curl them. Three, almost there. Two more. Curl them. One more, one more. Fantastic, good. Oh yeah. Again, one of those exercises that there's a couple different things going on, which is a really great time saver. And you, you feel it in multiple places too, so that's one thing that I like. Okay, let's go ahead and take it down to the floor. And we're going to work on a little bit of the arms, but a lot on the stomach. Legs may feel a little bit too, but primarily the focus point is going to be on that belly. Okay, so we're going to want to grab the resistance, whether this time I'm going to do it with cans. Again, if you're not used to these exercises, you might want to start out with something a little bit lighter than normal. My head is relaxed. And I'm going to do some big scissors with my legs. Big scissors. Now what I want to do is I want to try to get my feet close to the floor. Work them back up. And in my chest. My stomach is tight. And I'm breathing. And all the while, trying to keep these arms and these cans steady. Good. Up and down. Nice and stable. Nice and stable. You got it. Keep making it work. We're breathing. Stomach is tight. I know you're feeling it in the legs too. That's normal. And if you want to make this a little bit tougher, you can elevate the shoulders. Or you can keep them down. Good, let's do a few more. Oh yeah. Legs are getting to be on fire. Arms are getting to be on fire. Here we go. A few more, you can do it. Up and down. Come on, let's do two. Here we go. Here we go. We're working. Last one. 
We're working. Stay with me. Up and down. Up and down. Make it work. Nice. Woo. Oh, yeah. There was a lot going on with that exercise. For sure. So, let's say, for instance, you like, okay, I like that one, correct? But there was a lot going on with it. You can definitely modify it by putting your arms down, okay? So, if you find that it was tough to keep your arms up, just keep them down. And just engage the legs and the stomach. So, you can modify it that way, absolutely. Now, also, you can just have your arms up. You don't have to hold anything at all. So, there's absolutely ways to kind of modify the move if you needed to. All right. Great. Let's get up to our feet. Brush it off. And let's get back to work. All right. So, since we're staying on the legs, let's just stay there. Let's stay on the legs. Also, now, we're going to work a little bit of the back area, okay? So, you can grab your dumbbell, your cans, whatever you're using. I'm going to grab a can for this one. And what I want to do is I'm going to do a side lunge where I'm going to feel it mostly in the front of the leg here. Maybe a little bit right back here too, okay? So, I'm going to lunge to the side. And when I'm lunging to the side, it's important to make sure I'm sitting back. Really key. I don't want to sit forward because there's too much pressure on this knee. So, I'm going to go here. Sitting back, and then I'm gonna row it. What's happening is I'm bringing this can to my hips to so just kind of give you a different angle. Sitting back, bringing the can right to the hip. Okay? All right, let's try it. Here we go. Lunge, row. And this hand, put it wherever you want. Hip, out front, wherever it feels good to you. Okay, lunge, row. Lunge, row, lunge, row, perfect, lunge, row, I'm sitting back, this leg is straight, row, you got this, mm -hmm. we're firing it up, come on, there we go, lunge that, Let's do five. We can do five. Come on. Four. Three. And two more, two more. Last one. Push out of that lunge for me. Row it. Good. Okay. Right there. In the thigh. That's what we wanted. Come on. Next side. Deep breath. Ready? Let's go. Same thing. Throw it. Now, it may, you might experience on one leg, it's a little bit different than the other with balance. That's normal, okay? So, you do what you can. It's okay. It will get better. There we go. Pull. Bring that can to my hip. Nice. Let's do seven. Come on, let's do seven. Six. Sitting back. Sitting back. We got to remind ourselves of that good form. Good form. Very important. Let's do three. A little one extra. Okay. Two. One more. Big push. Leg straight. Push. Very nice. Good, 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 good. One thing I like about doing lunges, any lunge, any version, uh, it can get the heart rate up. So if you really want to incorporate a, uh, an exercise in your routine where you also are toning and sculpting but getting your heart rate elevated, lunges are perfect for work. Okay, let's take it on now. Back to the floor. All right. Okay. We're going to work on upper body, chest, back of the arms. We're going to do a push up. Now, there's many different versions of a push up, okay? Whether they're on your toes, on your knees, there's 
struggle, absolutely. This one we're gonna do is we're going to do a push up on our knees, or you can move your toes, and we're gonna to tap the shoulder in between, okay? Now with push-ups, if you find that maybe doing them on your knees right now is a bit tough, you can do these on your wall, right? So there's a way to kind of modify that. Or like I said, if you want to make them tougher, you can do them on your toes. But we're gonna start on our knees, and I'm gonna show you the tap, which makes it a little more challenging. Push-ups, so it's very important to make sure my hands are underneath my chest. If being on your palms is difficult for your wrist, fists are fine, okay? So you can definitely modify that too, if that's a little bit of a challenge for you. I want to lengthen my body as much as I can. I want to try to avoid having this where the rear end area is up in the sky. I want to try to position my body forward. And I'm going to come down, tap the shoulder. Yes. Tap the shoulder. Now, if balancing on one arm is tough to do to tap that shoulder, just do the push-up. No problem. Just avoid the tap. But I'm going to go for the tap. Okay, here we go. Ready. Breathe it out. Tap. Good. You can do these on the toes if you want to. I'm going to stay on my knees today. There we go. You can change it up when you want to. Perfect. Over. Tapping that shoulder. Tapping that shoulder. Come on, let's do a few more of these. Very good. Getting that chest in there. Come on, let's do a few. Let's do four. Three. Two more. Come on. One more. Fantastic. Very nice. You should have, you should be feeling those arms get a little tight from that exercise. Again, a really good way if you want to tone the back of the arms, strengthen the back of the arms, strengthen the chest. It's a fun one to do, great one to do, a great exercise to modify for whatever level you're at too. Okay, good. Let's come on back down to a seated position. This next exercise is gonna work mostly shoulders in front of the legs at the same time. We're gonna need to lean on this one. That's gonna work a little bit of the belly too, now that I think about it. All right. I'm not going to use any resistance. You can. It's just going to make it tougher. Um, but you don't have to. Trust me. Your arms are going to be tired either way. So I'm going to lean back. Legs are as straight as I can take it. And I'm going to do flood raises as I press. Just like that. If my arms are going up fast, my legs got to go fast. My arms are slower, legs are slower. Either way, goal is the same pace. Okay, so here we go. Lean back, press. There we go. You can do this all day, right? Uh -huh. It starts to creep up on you, though. Up and down, legs are straight. Breathe. You got it. Up and down. Pressing. Pressing. Lifting. Lifting. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Excellent. <laughs> that was a fun one. That exercise is a great movement to really, again, tire the arms out especially in the shoulders, stomach, tires that out, legs, tires that out, gets the heart pumping, tires that out too. So it's a really good way to kind of have a, an exercise that kind of gets a lot of things going short amount of time. All right. Next one we're going to do is mostly stomach, mainly stomach. So. 
Plane the back on the belly. And we're going to focus on holding, contracting, tightening our stomach muscles here. Okay? Sometimes we don't focus on the holding, so that's what this is for. Now, hands are behind my head, or you can leave your head unsupported. It's up to you. Just make sure you have a small space in between that chin and that chest. And I'm going to bring this knee into this elbow, and I'm going to hold that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. I'm focusing on the contraction, the tightening of the muscles. If you want to hold it for longer than three, awesome. If you need to hold it for less than three, that's great too. The key is to try to contract and hold. And notice my shoulders haven't hit the mat. I'm up the whole time. Whole time. There we go. One, two, three. Breathe. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, you can do this all day. Tight, tighten that for me. There you go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now push the legs down a little bit if you can. Two, three. One, two, three. Let's do a few more. Two, three. One, two, three. Five. We got that five. We got it. Four. Couple more. Three. Breathe it out for me, Olivia. Come on. Two. Here we go. Holding it in there. Holding it in. One more. One more. Nice and tight. Pull it in. Enjoy it. Tighten it up. And rest. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Sometimes when we're doing stomach exercises, we're just kind of powering through the repetitions quickly. Um, not that that's a bad thing. It just depends on what uh, you're trying to achieve, what your training routine looks like. But every now and again, I find it's really great to focus on the contraction, fighting the resistance, so to speak, to just want to relax, okay? So you do what you feel is best for you. I just wanted to show you that you can slow it down. You can contract it when you're doing your stomach muscles. Okay, now the next exercise we're gonna do is we're gonna stay on the belly, okay? A little bit of the shoulders in there too, but primarily it's gonna be for the core. We're gonna hammer that one home. All right, so we're gonna be in a plank position on our elbows and toes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the elbow up, lift it up, tap right, tap left. Now, if being in that plank position is difficult for you, you can definitely do this on the knees, nice and flat, lifting, lifting, and then just tapping the knee from side to side. So you can modify this one if you feel like you need to do that adjustment. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's do it. Ready? Either way. Whichever version is best for you. Ready? So up, up, right, left. Up, up, right, left. Up, up, right, left. You got it. Very good. We're almost there. Four more. Three. Two. One more for me. Lift, lift, right, left. Yeah. Plank. That's a good plank. What I like about planks 
is like I said, there's all versions of them. So that's a way to make that plank a little bit more challenging if you felt like you needed to. Okay, so gives you a little bit something else additional to, to kind of get it going, especially by incorporating the legs from side to side. Great job. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna work a little bit more of the back of the arms here. We're gonna lay down on our side, just like so. You get to relax now. Well, kind of. You can keep the body straight. Everything hips are towards you or towards me, right? We're gonna have this arm right here. Actually, it's gonna be right here. And we're gonna go across, cross. And what I'm doing is I'm extending the back of the arm from the elbow. And I'm keeping my arm close to my body. I don't want it to be out here, okay? I want it to be right tucked in, right there. There we go. You got it, right there. Up and down, breathing. I know those arms are tired. You've been doing stuff. Perfectly normal, but you can do this. We can paddle through this together. Come on. Perfect. Come on. Let's do a few more of these. Let's do a few more of these. Nice. Give me five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Hold that for me. One, two, three. Four, five. Now holding that leg set, holding that at the end really focuses on squeezing that contraction. Again, squeezing that last repetition out. It can make it, it can make it a lot harder and make your arms more tired, right? So let's switch it. Let's switch. It is a workout, by the way. Alright. Same thing here. Everything's flat. Hips are towards you, towards me. And again, we extend. Extend. There we go. Perfect. You got it, Olivia. We're ending focused. This is a very focused exercise right here. All we're doing is the back of the arm. No other tricks, no other tips. Right here. There we go. Good. And because I'm using just the can, my repetitions or the amount of time I'm doing is a little bit more than normal right here. There we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more, one more. Hold that for me. One, two, three, hold it up, four, and five. Way to go, good. Great job. Wonderful work, wonderful work. Yes, we did it. We got through another total body workout in a good short amount of time. So again, one thing I like about these fast workouts is maybe you don't have an hour and a half, two hours, two and a half hours um, to put into a workout that day. Maybe you only have about 25 to 30 minutes that's why we want to show you some multiple muscle groups that you can work in that amount of time. So if you have any questions about the exercises that you saw today or any of the exercises that you see as a part of the Get Up and Move Workout series, please feel free to email me directly at fitnessatlivia.com. It's always great for to be a part of your day. Um, like I said, no matter where you place us, it's nice to be in there. The key is to always get up and move, do some activity, Enjoy yourself, work out, you're doing a fantastic job, and I can't wait to see you again for the next workout.